John Ponder was facing a 23 federal prison, a 23 year federal prison sentence, excuse me. He vowed it would be the last time he would be incarcerated and envisioned an organization that would help him transition back into society. John Ponder joins me now. He's the founder and CEO of Hope for Prisoners. John, your story is very moving, and I wonder as we, as a nation, talk about police reform, how important it is for us also to remember that we have to think about people who are transitioning out of prison and back into society to help prevent recidivism, and can law enforcement help be a part of that? Absolutely, and Dana, thank you uh, so much for having me. Um, you know, I think that it's very, very important that we uh, bring law enforcement to the table when we're working with this segment of the population. Uh, you know, right here in our local community, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department has done a phenomenal job at that, where the sheriff has given us over a hundred uh, uniformed officers that come into the lives of people that are returning to our community to help them to successfully reintegrate back into their homes back into the workplace and ultimately to help them to be stand-up leaders in our community. So what, if you had to think about like the one thing that really made a difference for you, what would that have been? You know, for me, it was, uh, uh, first of all, it was me standing in the prison cell and surrendering my life to Jesus. And then, you know, a transformation had taken place in my heart. But then there was some law enforcement people, specifically the FBI agent who was on my case. Uh, I began to develop a relationship with them. And once I developed that relationship, Dana, uh, you know, things, my, my whole perception of, of him as a law enforcement agent, as a law enforcement agent, had begun to change. I started to see him not as the FBI agent. I began to see him as the, as the man that God had created him to, created him to be. So I, what I think that our efforts working with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department is to make sure that we can bring both segments of the population in together in a relationship. Because if you think about it, across our country right now, people don't trust police. And the reason why they don't trust police is because they're not in relationship with police. And what relationship could you ever establish trust unless there's life rubbing up against life in the spirit of complete transparency, right? And out of that transparency comes yeah. the relationship, and out of that relationship comes trust. And the men and women of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, our law enforcement they're officers, have done an absolute Indeed. phenomenal job at doing that over the past 10 years. John Ponder, I'm running out of time. Th I love your story, and thank you for coming on the show. We'll stay in touch. Thank you so much, and thank you thank all for you joining so us. For I'm Dana me. Perino. You bet. Bill Hammer, over to you. Thank you, Dana. A lot moving today. Nice to see you. See you in